Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sling TSI build. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, I think my last video was my 1500 hour build update. Uh, so I just wanted to show you the progress I've made in the last few weeks. So as you can see, the interior is done. So I have uh, all the upholstery, the carpet, the seats, the grips, although the grips need adjusted, I've just got them uh, loosely. I gotta figure out how I wanna position them exactly. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I put my fire extinguisher on the cover to the center channel um, going through the back seat. Over here uh, in the corner, I'll zoom in for a second. That's my ELT antenna. And then you can see I have the, uh, I have an oxygen and then I have the headset jacks in the back. I have my experimental, that's a Velcro um, that I had at an upholstery shop do. Excuse me, an embroidery shop did that. So it's just, uh, it's just like a, a big patch with Velcro on the back. So door seals, I put this on for my personal safety. Um, that was the other patch that I had made um, at the same time, just with the baggage, luggage weight. Um, the engine, I've been finishing up sort of rigging all of the, um, the hose supports and the wiring supports and doing standoffs and everything. Uh, I got the prop on and uh, oil cooler, radiator is just kind of hanging there. I haven't figured out a good way to, to support it when it's not in the cowling. Um, and maybe somebody could drop a comment. I haven't seen anything online. I, I haven't decided that, you know, this would be a convenient place if there was something I could use to put a, some sort of a standoff or something. But um, the, the way it goes in here, it's kind of low. And uh, I just don't know how to support it. Um, so it may not be supported. It's a stiff hose. And I've supported back in here to keep it off of the muffler and uh, off of this exhaust pipe, um, these these hoses. And, and this is such a tight mess. So um, anyway, I think I could, I could add stays and standoffs for another hours and hours, but I think I'm getting pretty close. Uh, every, the cowling goes on, um, it's not easy by any stretch, but uh, anyway, I put that on. Um, there was a couple of uh, a couple of the cam locks that were not tight enough, and I actually removed them, and uh, you can sort of see over there. Um, filled them in with uh, fiberglass resin, and uh, put a little, I put a little piece of fiberglass mat behind it, and uh, I'm gonna re-drill those out. So uh, anyway, the, the engine compartment's close, but I'm not quite there yet. One of the things I have to do is lower the intercooler. It's uh, when, the, when the scoop comes in here, let me zoom back out. When the, the scoop comes in, it's, it's about an inch too high. So I've got to reconfigure this so that I can lower this down just an inch. Um, but I think I also need to see if I can come out just a little bit because it's really close, if you can see that, to the fuel manifold where I have a hose coming out. It's not touching, but I'm worried that, that you know, with vibration, it might, I don't want it to hit that ever. So I'm gonna see if I can come down and then out just a little bit. So those are a couple of things um, that, uh, that I've been working on. A little, uh, a little weird thing. Um, I uh, when I was when I was prepping the seats, um, the instructions that I have, and I think they're the most recent instructions, 
show a plastic piece that goes in the side rail um, up against the side, not the bottom piece. And um, it, it's like a spacer and something to help it slide. And I didn't have them. And I thought maybe I had misplaced them at some point. So I custom made a little piece that matched the ones that I had already installed in these seat rails. But when I did that, this seat wouldn't slide anymore. Uh, so I removed it and then now this seat slides fine. So I don't know if I never got the piece or if I got the piece and it wouldn't have worked anyway. Um, but that was kind of a weird little, uh, a little thing. So uh, anyway, I wasted about an hour creating these little plastic spacer sliders and, uh, and then ended up drilling it out, and removing the rivets and then uh, doing away with it. Um, but the seat seems really firm and it slides nice and so we're good there. Um, I still I still haven't done the uh, the fairings. Um, they're just sitting in place. Um, I started working on the uh, the spats or the wheel pants or whatever you want to call them. Um, so the front I've got pretty well done. Um, it went together very well. I'm going to have to do some work on the, uh, on the, the mains. Uh, they're not lining up perfect. So I think I'm going to have to do a little sanding to make everything follow the joggle. Um, so that'll be a little work that needs done, but, uh, pretty happy. Uh, I have a small punch list of things that, that need to happen. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I just reinflated the tires and uh, over the last year and a half since I inflated the tires, they'd gotten a little low. And uh, I'm gonna try to weigh the plane next week. If I can get the, the last few things, get the cowling back on, put the wheel pants on. Um, I have a neighbor who's an A&P mechanic and he's got scales. So he's gonna bring them over and uh, we're gonna weigh up the plane. Um, I was actually, uh, I was pulling up the manual. My, my neighbor was talking about leveling the plane. Uh, he had just weighed a neighbor's Cessna 210 that they had just done a lot of avionics work. And uh, they had to do a lot of jacking up the, was, uh, they had to build like a platform uh, to make sure that the plane was level. And uh, so I went in the, the maintenance manual, the sling maintenance manual for the TSI and I realized I was like, I was like, I wonder how level ours is. So I guess this is the level line. So this row of, of, um, so I put my, uh, um, cause nothing has been perfect yet. I haven't calibrated anything. So it's the first time I've really checked the level of that. And, uh, it's pretty darn level, so I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna have to do any weird shims or jacks or build a platform or anything for when we weigh it. So that's kind of nice. I don't think I've seen anybody film weighing their plane. I've seen that some results, but anyway, so that's, uh, that's gonna be next week. Um, and I'll do some pictures and uh, maybe some video of us weighing it just so uh, I can talk about that a little bit. Um, and I'm trying to think what else I've, it's just, it's just like lots and lots of little odds and ends. Um, but we're, we're getting closer and uh, it's getting exciting. I, I'm hoping I can finish this out in the next few weeks. Um, like I said, the wheel pants, the wheel or the, the wing and the empennage fairings are, uh, let me zoom back out, are what's left to be done. And uh, I'm hoping I can get that finished here in the next few weeks. Um, then it's just down to some punch list items. I need to let a little more air out of the pistons on the, uh, on the doors. It's too hard when you grab the handle, it's too hard to pull it down. And I hadn't really sat in the plane and tried to experience that until just the other day. So, uh, it's, I need to let some more of the, the compressed air out of those, uh, gas struts. So, uh, I'll do that until I can come up with a happy medium. And also, um, the uh, <laughs> I should have done it, I should have taped these into place before I mounted the, uh, but they're gonna come out for paint anyway. But uh, I have a couple of spots where the, um, 
the weather stripping is a little low and uh, I did it with light. Uh, I got a flashlight and kind of, I sat in the plane and had uh, uh, my, actually my brother-in-law shined a flashlight around and there's a couple little spots in the corners on both doors. And then a, 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 it's actually on the other door. There's a little spot here where it's a little low. So I'll probably um, ask my paint shop when they do it just to add a little, uh, a little epoxy, uh, some super fill or something just to bump it out just a little bit. It doesn't look like too much of a, uh, too much of a gap, um, just to fill in, uh, the low spot here, just so it'll pull out when we replace this after paint, uh, it'll pull it out a little bit and hopefully seal better. But, uh, I think that's it for this week. Um, hope everybody's doing well and, uh, is doing well with snow and, icy weather. I'm in North Carolina and we've had some snow and some ice and we might get some snow in the next few days. I'm not sure the the conditions have kind of dropped where our chances are a little low. So I don't know that it'll happen, but uh, uh, to those builders, good luck with your projects and I'll talk to you again in a week or two.